Okay, so in today's video, we're going to have a look at expanding and simplifying sets of brackets. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes. We've got lots of questions to have a look at. So we've got two brackets here. It says expand and simplify. So we've got the first bracket here with the three at the front, and we've got the second bracket here with the five at the front. So I'm just going to expand them separately and see what we get. So looking at this first bracket to start with, the three brackets 2x plus 5. If we expand this out, so timesing both those pieces by 3, 3 lots of the 2x gives us 6x and 3 lots of the 5 gives us 15 and that's a plus there so keeping the symbol the same plus 5. Now looking at this second bracket which we've got a 5 at the front now it's positive 5 at the front plus 5 so we're going to expand them both by positive 5 so 5 times x is positive 5x so plus 5x and positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So be very, very careful with the symbols here. That is a negative 2, so that will make negative 10. And all we have to do is now simplify this, so tidying it up. So we have a 6x and a 5x, a plus 5x, and 6 plus 5 is 11, so we have 11x's. And we have positive 5 and negative 10, and 5 take away 10 is negative 5, so 11x minus 5. And that's your final answer, and that's it simplified. Let's have a look at another one. OK, so we'll expand and simplify this. Now we've got this minus 2 in the middle here, so we just need to be careful. But let's just treat it in exactly the same way. We'll times the first bracket by 3 to start with. So 3 times 2x gives us 6x. And 3 times negative 4 gives us negative 12. Now let's have a look at that second bracket. So we have a negative 2 at the start here, so we're just going to have to remember to times by negative 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times positive 5 gives us negative 10. OK, so the symbol's not just getting copied there, it is getting affected by that negative 2 at the start. So be very, very careful with this negative 10 here uh, when you're doing these. Right, so collecting it all together, we've got 6x take away the 2x, and that leaves us with 4x's. And we've got negative 12 and negative 10 here, negative 12 take away 10 is negative 22. And there's that expanded and simplified. Let's have a look at one more before we have a go. OK, so this one here, we've got it a little bit jumbled up. It's a little bit different to the last few, but let's just follow the exact same process and see what we get. So first bracket, 4 times the x gives us 4x, and 4 times the negative 3 gives us negative 12. Now moving on to the next bracket, but again, just being careful because we've got a negative 2 at the start. So this time it's negative 2 times the number first this time. So negative 2 times 1 is, ne is take the negative 2, so take away 2. And then we've got negative 2 multiplied by negative x. So the negatives become, are going to become positives because we've got a negative multiplied by another negative. So we've definitely got positive. And that's 2 times the x, so plus 2x. Negative 2 times negative x is positive 2x. And again, just tidying this up just like before, so 4x and the, the, the other x is at the end this time, so 4x plus 2x is 6x. And negative 12, take away 2, is negative 14, so 6x minus 14. Again, just be very, very careful with whether the number is negative or not. Obviously, this was a negative 2. Particularly careful when you times it by this negative x there to make sure you get your symbols right. So here's some for you to have a go at. So pause the video there, have a go at these four, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. OK, so let's have a look. So expanding the first one, we get 3x plus 12. And expanding the next one, we get plus 10x minus 2. And tidying that all up, 3x and 10x makes 13x. And plus 12 minus 2 is plus 10, so 13x plus 10. On to the one below, we get 3x plus 15 plus 10x and that would be minus 12 at the end there. And then tidying it up, we get 13x again. And then 15 take away 12 is positive 3, so plus 3. So 13x plus 3. Top right, 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 1 is 3, so plus 3. And then we've got this negative going on, so minus 2 times x is minus 2x, and minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4. So be careful with that one. Collecting the x's together, 6x take away 2x is 4x, and 3 plus 4 is 7, so 4x plus 7. And then onto the last one here, 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 4 is 8. And then we've got the negative again, so negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 3 times negative x is positive 3x. And again, just tidying this up, 6x and 3x makes 9x, and 8 take away 6 is 2, so 9x plus 2. And there's your four answers. OK, so obviously in some of these scenarios here, you could have ended up with a negative at the end there. None of these actually did because our numbers there, well, if we have a look just at this first one, for example. OK, we had a positive 12 take away 2, and that resulted in 
positive 10. But it could be that you had positive 2, take away 10 that would have resulted in a negative at the end there. So you've just got to be very, very careful. All of these were quite nice, okay, but you get the general idea of how to approach these questions. Do one, the first bracket to start with, the second bracket as well, just being careful if there is a negative in there and keeping it all really nice and tidy before you simplify it and collect those pieces together. So that's the end of the video, uh, quite a short one. Uh, so make sure you move on to some of these next videos here. We've got some double brackets and maybe if you're on the higher tier looking at some triple brackets, have a look in the description for those. But again, if you like this video, please like, please comment, please subscribe and I'll see you for the next one.